Hi everyone, welcome to our Sky Career Talks. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, this is a new initiative um, where we are trying to help students um, learn a little bit more about different types of careers that you can do with your MI degree. And we are hoping to explore various settings, various industries with these small videos, um, bringing you alumni and their own experiences sharing it with you. Um, my name is Eldi Kozen, and I'm the Assistant Director of Student Services for Careers at the School of Communication and Information at Rutgers University. And my um, guest is Peter Sutton, who graduated from the MI program in 2019. Welcome, Peter. Thank you so much for joining us today, and thank you for sharing your amazing experience. Okay. Um, I wanted to actually just um, say a few words about what kind of career we are exploring here. So first, we are going to dwell into corporate archives and corporate archives careers. I feel like a lot of our students ask a lot of questions about, um, I'm an archivist, but I actually want to work for corporate organizations. How, so how do people do that? Okay, well, um, I got into it. Uh, it was the job was posted. Um, the Rutgers um, was actually my second uh, master's degree. So I had an MI with a digital libraries concentration as well as um, a master's in moving image archiving and preservation. So they uh, posted this. I had a lot of the skill sets that they wanted and um, I did a good interview. And so I think the biggest advice would be look at the sort of the skills that you have and match it up to that sort of environment. That sounds great. And so um, when you mentioned skills, can you talk a little bit about what are the things that you're doing on a day to day basis? What does your day look like? Okay, well, I can't talk about the specific technology because everything's very proprietary. Of course. Um, but from day to day, I'm doing uh, research requests, I'm cataloging, I'm reformatting, I'm digitizing. Um, that's sort of my day to day. So how is it comparable to like a, a regular archivist job? Well, um, I do a little bit of everything. Um, I answer, um, like I was saying, I, I do some research requests. So um, I have to not just do one specific thing. Normally I would be in a position where I was just looking after sort of the moving image materials. And in this one, I do a little bit of everything. So what is your favorite part of your work? My favorite part of the work is, um, is doing the research and that I work um, for this winter group and I'm at the Ford Motor Company. Their client there um, is delving into sort of the history. It has a long backstory and it's a very important company. So getting to work in this and having it be sort of a fast paced environment where I can see the results like on TV. That's, that's very nice. So what would be one of the benefits of working for like in a corporate environment as an archivist, would you say? I would say um, the big benefit um, would be that it is sort of fast paced. You get feedback. I have a lot of um, decision making um, things. They, they ask my opinion and then it gets implemented and then I see the results. How about budget? <laughs> is it the, budget the, um, the budget seems to be a little bit um, larger. I can't go into too much detail, but it, it's a little bit nicer. So you maybe have a little bit more freedom of choosing technologies or resources or, or things like that. Is that possible? Um, the, if you, I, I've had a certain things where I make recommendations on technology and then it will be implemented if it fits a need. So what do you think would be um, important for students to know while they are still in our program? So what type of classes should they be attending or what kind of technical skills should they have to be ready a, for this I'm opportunity? A, I'm a big believer in developing a lot of the uh, technology skills, but digitization is a big one. Um, uh, those and then for specific jobs, if you're looking at a a career in corporate archives, I would see the skill sets and what requirements they have for that sort of thing. And I would match that up. Um, and a lot of the general sort of um, information theory courses, I think really helped me. 
it's so cool. So if you were um, back in school and doing your Am I Bigger right now, what would be the one advice that you would give yourself with your current knowledge? Um, mine would be to look forward a little bit more, to do, to look at sort of the career paths and other things along those lines and uh, to network a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And um, is there anything, like any kind of certification that students should be thinking about or learning extra or how, how does internships come into this? Um, my specific vocation, um, I can't really speak on the internships, but I think that internships from what I've, I hear give you a valuable, if you can't get the location that you want, you want some place that is similar or that they know the people and you can, I hear um, a lot of good things about internship placements afterwards from my colleagues. Um, I'm the only one who doesn't have um, a traditional archival degree. Um, I have an MI one. Um, so I think that for this specific job, it always helps to match up as much as you can with a traditional archival degree or uh, get certified or move towards that sort of thing. Fantastic. Thank you so much for sharing all this information. I'm going to share my screen one more time with everybody just so that they can see um, resources as to how they can um, reach us in the future. So um, you can email um, if you have any questions and um, you can also join our Sky Careers Corner site um, for um, related information uh, and events information. Um, we also have a Sky's Career Job Board in case you're looking for opportunities. And of course, we have the Sky's Career website. Um, I wanted to thank you, Peter, for being here with us today. Thank you so much. And I'm, I'm hoping that we're gonna be able to see you at one of our mingles or back on campus sometime. So you take care of yourself and so thanks for all the information. I hope that um, a lot of the students are going to try and reach out to you on LinkedIn and connect with you and get some more information if they have any more questions. All right, well, thank you for having me. Thanks so much for joining me.